relatively to its size. The barnacle has the largest penis on earth. Another fun fact is, uh, long ago, on a distant land, the Archhead turned its community against themselves. Hello everyone, Ren here, or Alias. And this tale started like any major gaming disaster of recent memory. An announcement, an update. The Archhead announced it was gonna implement easy anti-cheat. If you played Elden Ring, it's the same anti-cheat that uh, Elden Ring uses. It was gonna get rid of mods, which the devs justified by saying that, well, a lot of people who use mods use them maliciously. Now, this may seem nice and dandy, justifiable. A lot of games have anti-cheat. It's pretty much uh, expected at this point. Hell, the MiHoYo devs probably know my social security number from their anti-cheat. Xi Jinping is definitely watching me right now. The problem was that a lot of these mods were not really invasive. They were there to enhance your VR chat experience. From uh, touching other people's hairs, because believe it or not, this, like, if you go up to me and grab my shirt, you can lift it up. This was not implemented until like way later, until the fist bones update. And that was, you know, enhancement stuff. Other stuff was like, uh, at a certain range, you could make people's avatars unload. So, you know, if you have a potato for a PC, you didn't blow all your RAM uh, loading everybody. And then, finally, there were some actual accessibility mods. For example, right now, I can type this, and you'll probably see it. Oh, that's like way above. <laughs> Never mind, apparently the camera doesn't pick up the message I type. But basically, uh, you can type and a message will appear above your head. You may see this with people who don't want to talk due to social anxiety or something. That also wasn't in the base game, that was required through a mod. <laughs> And I think the biggest one that I saw was uh, a mod that translated a sign language into text above your head for uh, deaf people. After this announcement happened, VRChat's rating became overwhelmingly negative, like, over overnight. Like, thousands of reviews just review bombed the game. The game was being boycotted. Uh, this was around the time where they released... Uh, VRChat Plus, and people started canceling the memberships. The mods were being harassed on the VRChat Discord server. I actually joined the server out of curiosity to see, uh, you know, the the shit show. <laughs> and Jesus, you could have sworn that it was Charles White streaming live. The general chat was just flooded with messages. At some point, People even tried to get uh, the investment firm for VRChat to drop VRChat. But I do believe that was just fear-mongering. Because it sounds like fear-mongering. Like when they cancel a, a YouTuber. If you were from the outside looking into VRChat, you would have thought the mods uh, round up someone, round up people and just shot them on the public square. And ultimately, nothing came from it. <laughs> The update was uh, July 2022. I don't know the exact date, but that was around the time the announcement came out. It is October 2024, and VRChat still has a very active uh, player base. The devs went ahead with it, and easy anti-cheat was implemented, so anybody with mods had to remove the mods. And those who still wanted to mod went to VRChat's biggest competitor, Chill Out VRC. Now, personally, if I was the devs of VRChat, I would have just paid the modders for their mods and just copy pasted them into VRChat. Like, they did all the work for free for this game, for features that people clearly wanted, and it would have made the modders a lot more, a lot less angry. Because I have a feeling nothing gets this much hate for just out of passion. Well, I, I guess things do, but this was weird to me. There was a weird feeling lingering. And I believe someone or some group of people were losing money on this. Not the VR chat devs, but some people were. I, this is just, you know, my schizophrenic uh, fan theories. But that is what I believe. 
that someone somewhere was losing that some people were losing money and that's why people were so turned against this like uh, the top people because the community was just like yeah we just want to get these things implemented and VRChat did implement like all this stuff well not everything but eh, most of it the biggest things I would say and as I said nothing came from it I could go to a club right now and see anime girls dance on a pole live are they a dude behind the visor probably it wouldn't surprise me <laughs> probably but I don't care it's VR chat we mess around and I block children because I find them annoying <laughs> children in VR chat tend to be annoying <laughs> no <laughs> no offense to children on VR chat and well this has been all this has been Ren or alias Bye-bye.